and it's gone. It is completely, the camera's gone. Okay, let's go ahead. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So a while back I had some people reach out to me and let me know that there is a major flaw with Eufy cameras. And I do a lot of Eufy reviews. I've covered a lot of their cameras, a lot of their products. I've always liked their stuff, but is there a major flaw out there? If we take a look here at the Eufy forum, it was brought up early last year that there was a, we'll say, major flaw with the camera. Now this was addressed by Eufy in the forums and they said that they would let their developers know. Eventually they got back to the community and said that this feature is working as intended. Now that feature is that if you push and hold the sync button on top of any of the Eufy cameras, not only does it remove that device from your account, but it wipes all of the footage too. So all the things that I've been saying about having your footage nice and stored and safe in your house, and you don't have to worry about it, and it's better than cloud storage, might actually not be true. So I figured, let's go ahead and test it out. See if it is really an issue, and then talk about the results. Okay, so we're here outside. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out with the Eufy Cam 2C Pro. We got that right here. Here is the app and what things look like. We see that camera is up here on the top and if I click on the events tab, we can see all the different recordings that we have for it. So we can see the title Eufy Cam 2C Pro. So everything is here in the app. But let's go back to devices and really test this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and push on the sync button. Okay, there's the first beep. All right, there is the second beep. So in theory now, everything should be wiped off the phone. There shouldn't be any data left for that camera, but let's go ahead and check it out. We can see that it's still there up on top, but if I swipe down, let's see, we're gonna refresh this. <gasps> and it's gone. It is completely, the camera's gone. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the events though, because the events, no, the event, look at that, the whole, Thing is gone. It is just showing the outdoor camera that I have above, but everything that was on this camera is gone. There's nothing left on here. Now that's that's a big deal. That should not happen at all, especially since we have our recordings safe inside of the house. They should be safe inside of the house, not wiped off of our device altogether, right? Yeah, this is a pretty big deal. <sighs> all right, so what now? All of our footage is gone. Now, I don't understand why Yuffie says that this is working as intended. This is how that feature is supposed to work. Now, I understand if you maybe reset your camera that it would remove itself from the app, but I don't understand is why it is taking away all of the footage too. It's supposed to be, my understanding is, this is a security camera. You buy this for security. You want that data, those clips. That is why you are purchasing these devices right here. And yet, all somebody has to do is hold the button down on this camera and that's all gone. The strange thing about it though, is that I have added this camera back into my Eufy system. And the crazy thing is it brings all of that footage back. All of that data from the past month that was on my home base, it's brought back. So it's there, it's not like it's being deleted. It just can't access it, I can't see it. It's like, it just hides everything. So I don't understand why that is a feature or why that is working as intended because Let's look at Ring, for example. I've got a Ring camera right here. I have had it where it has a little security code here on the bottom where you can add this camera into your app. Now, I have apparently in a past video shown that security scanning thing because I constantly get emails saying that somebody is trying to add this camera to their system. Now what I get is I get an email saying, this camera is registered to me. If I've given the camera away or if I've sold it or anything like that, what I need to do is I need to deregister the camera from my account before that person can add it to any other account. Now granted, another thing with Ring 2 is that all of my footage is being stored on the cloud. So it is safe on the cloud, it's all up there, I pay for it, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But it's just weird to me that Eufy wouldn't have the same thing. Why can't they have something where this Eufy camera is registered to me and my account and it cannot be removed until I physically remove it myself? Nobody should be able to walk up, grab this camera, hold down that button, reset the camera, and now it's gone. Now, if you got the camera still there, you can re-add it back, you still get your footage, but if somebody were to take this camera, 
it's gone. So that's where I am struggling with. I gotta say right now with that being a feature, it seems like something that Yuffie can easily fix. If the footage is still there on my home base, it seems like it could just be a software update. The thing is, is that this has been going on for a year and a half. Yuffie has been notified about this for the last 18 plus months and I've done nothing about it. They say, oh, that's just part of its design. So I guess I am gonna be putting a pause in Yuffie security. I know I cover a lot of Yuffie products on this channel, but as of right now, we're not gonna do anything more about that. Hopefully, Yuffie can fix this feature, make this a good security camera again, but as of right now, you know, I'm gonna be moving on to other things. In fact, I have had some people recommend some other brands to me that they liked. The top brand out there that people are recommending to me that does not require a subscription service is Real Link. Thank you, Clive from Australia, who is one of the people who have recommended this camera to me. But we've got a camera here from Real Link. Now, the thing with Real Link is that um, there is an SD card inside of this camera. So if they do steal your stuff, it is gone. However, Real Link also does offer seven days of free cloud storage on one camera. After that one camera, you can purchase a package to get cloud storage if you wanna do that. Um, they also have NVR systems where you can record everything. Now that's not gonna be for every one of their cameras, but they do have things where you can record it in a box in your house and it's all saved locally and stuff like that. So a lot of options there. What I thought I would do is that I kinda of wanna compare these two cameras together. We've got the Ufi Cam 2C Pro, a 2K camera, and we've also got the Real Link Argus Pro three, I think it is. And I wanna do a comparison between these two cameras right here and just see what the difference is and if it is truly a better camera. Now I know that the real link is cheaper. I know that it's got a bigger sensor and a more powerful spotlight on it, but let's go ahead and we'll do a comparison on that and see what that one is like right there. Anyway, because I cover a lot of Yuffie stuff on this channel, like I mentioned before, I wanted to make this video to make you guys aware of this potential issue with this camera and hopefully Yuffie sees this and they can fix this issue. I would recommend you guys sharing this video out there with anybody who is either in the market or possibly has this camera so they are aware of this potential flaw with their cameras. Maybe they can secure them up a little bit more. Also, I would like to know what other brands of cameras are good out there. What's a good brand camera out there that does not require a monthly subscription? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to start taking a look at some other brands out there. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.